Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another speed edit and create sim, but this time this is actually a very special kind of like throwback create a sim type of thing, so in case any of you have been following or subscribed to my channel for a very long time, you will know around about the time when Get to Work came out, I showed you my current household or like the whole retail system just to kind of show you how that worked and stuff. So you may recognize my sim, you may not. So this was actually the sim Ashlyn that was in my current household at that time. So she had like blonde hair in there and stuff. So she looked different from what she did now because I actually took my version of her from the gallery that I had saved her to obviously. So you can download her. She's called um, Curvy and Flirty. So um, yeah, so that is why um, she looks a little bit different than what she did in my game when you saw her. But I just sort of wanted to kind of do like a makeover of with CC because she actually had no CC on when I originally made her. Because I think she was like the fifth or sixth sim that I made when The Sims 4 came out. So she's got no custom content on her. So that's why she looks so different. And I kind of wanted to do a custom content makeover on a sim. So I thought, you know what? Let me go back and let me grab one of my old sims. Because that is always fun to do. And what party outfit did I put on her? I don't even know what I did when I put on her. But because obviously the game came out. It was just base game stuff that was on her. So we were pretty limited and stuff. And I didn't have CC at the time. But... Now I have CC, it's my life, and obviously I use all the other stuff in the packs and stuff. So it's really, it's really kind of fun to kind of see what you did, like, way back when, just to kind of grab one of your old sims and give them a little makeover, because that is always fun to do, in my opinion, to just give your sims a makeover, and especially using custom content, because I actually cannot live without it. It's, 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 it really is a game changer. It, it really is. So, um, yeah, here I'm just giving you a little, a little outfit thing. I really like this outfit. I need an outfit like that now in real life. I do like that. It's very cool. I have the jeans. I just need the top now. Because I like it. I kind of like that color combination. And it looks good. Blue, black and white. She looks like a sailor, but you know, we'll go with that. It's pretty cool. It is what it is. So here I am now taking you into the speed edit. So um, yeah, I've been doing speed edits a lot recently. And I've actually have been really, really enjoying them. Because it's sort of fun to do. Like, no, it really is fun. I have so much fun doing speed edits because I've said before I sit down and I have to you know edit my videos and stuff and edit my thumbnail so why not record it and if it's if I think it's interesting enough I will put it in my video because why not you know life is such it's just fun to kind of experiment with stuff and everything so I do cut out a lot of the stuff only because it can go on for ages because I put the video in and it was like half an hour long and that was without me speeding it up. And I just thought, you know what, nobody wants to sit through a too long speed edit because it can get a little bit boring and stuff. So I thought, why not cut some stuff out? But you've not missed a lot of stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can kind of see what I did. And here I'm just bright brightening the seams. I edit with brightness and contrast quite a lot. But I'm not one of those people that goes really high with the contrast or really high with the brightness. I go like a reasonable amount. And I just think it's just kind of what I like to do. And here I'm doing like adding extra eyeliner to her, making that wing bigger, because you know you've got to have a big wing when you need your eyeliner. And so I really like how this has turned out, actually. Because I edited edited this ages ago, and now I'm actually doing the voiceover now. But I, yeah, I really like that. Oh, her eyeliner. Yeah, the eye the eyeliner does look good, and the eyeshadow, I just tried to grab a few paints, and I thought, oh no, it's gone too far. I was like, ah, oh, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? So I'm just like, you know, using that blending tool, using that blurring tool, I'm going to blur it up, and it's going to be good. But, um, yes, sir, I really like this. I, I, oh, ooh, that looks so shiny. Sorry, I'm, I'm like, watching this as you guys are watching this. Because, like I said, I'd done it a whole while ago. And I did, like, highlight and contour to her. But I was like, this is a little bit too intense, you know. So I just sort of, like, blurred it out a little bit. Put a little bit less, oh, you know, in your face. And I just sort of rolled with it. And I just was thinking, should I have a title? Should I not have a, t a title? A thumb, a word. Should I have words on my thumbnail? Should I not? I was like, what do I do? What do I do? And I was going through colours and I kind of like this colour combination because it kind of matched with her lipstick that she's wearing. And I actually really like how she turned out. I love the hair. That hair looks good. Now, she looks good with blonde hair, you guys. I don't know why I put brown in the background. And then blue. Then I thought, you know, it's too much of a contrast. And I thought, you know, let me go with my good old glitter background, you know, with the overlays because I love that. And if you, you guys have been following my channel, you know I do that quite a lot. But anyway guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. I do. Bye guys.